guys, it's Kat. Um, I thought I would come to you today and show you a post that I posted on my blog and my latest Copic marker haul. Um, I found a, gr a great place to get Copic markers for half the price of the normal price and I wanted to share that with you guys. And also, um, the post that I am talking about is called Copic Markers for Beginners and Where to Find the Lowest Price. And I used a color chart by Jennifer um, Jennifer McGuire. She recommended colors for, like, if you're starting out with Copics. Um, here, it says suggested starter colors. And then if you want to get more, a little bit more into it, there's another chart that shows her favorites. And it has favorites for skin, um, for brown and dark hair, and for blonde hair, that sort of thing. And I'm kind of sticking with this chart for my Copic markers because I don't want to buy any that I don't need and I've noticed so far by using them that her recommendations are really really good so um, I thought I would share this with you and if you want to see if you want to read this blog post in full I'll put a link below in the description to my um, um, blog <laughs> and also um, where I bought my Copic markers I did a search. I'll show you some of it. These are some of the places that I looked to... Um, oh, hold on a second. My battery's going to die. Sorry about that. So these are the places that I researched for prices. And as you can see, the prices range from $6.99 a piece down to $3.75 a piece. So I bought mine from this place right here, benfranklin.com, and I paid $3.94 for each one. If you belong to their club, um, which I believe is a $7 monthly fee or something, you can get them for as low as $3.75. Um, and the shipping was really affordable. Um, and if you're a member of their club, you don't have to pay for shipping. So you might want to check that out. Um, if you want to buy Copics at Michael's, they're $6.99. And if you use a 40% off coupon, then of course you can get it for... I don't know, $4 or whatever that math ends up being. Um, but the che it's still cheaper to get them online at benfranklin.com. So I thought I would share that with you. And the colors that she suggested are the ones that I started with. So I'll just go over those real quick with you. So for pink, um, she suggests RV 23, 25, and 29. So these are the ones that I got to start with for pink. Okay, and this is my really nifty storage container here. <laughs> and of course I have the colorless blender. So, then for red, she suggested R20, R22, R29, and R35. So these are the ones I have for red. Okay. And then next was orange, and it's y, YR21, Y15, no, I'm sorry, YR15, and YR68. So these are the these three right here for the orange. These are the ones she suggests. And I added another one from her favorites. Um, I, I found it um, on sale on the two piece message form. This is a sketch marker, by the way, this one. And this is a chow marker. And I got a couple of chow markers really cheap on the two piece message form. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to shake the camera. So I got YR07 as well. Okay, so those are my orange. And then for yellow, um, she suggests Y15. Is that 15 or 19? Wait a minute. Why? It's so little I can't see it from here. Oh, I think it's these three. So Y19, Y21, and Y15. So that's these three. Okay. And then next was green, and these are the four that she suggests. YG03, YG. 17, YG25, and YG67. Oops, sorry. That's better. So those are the ones that she suggests for starters for green. 
and next is teal and these are the three that she suggested that I have and then um, after teal was blue and for blue it was 32 34 not that one that was oh wait yeah no that is one okay so two of these are from the um, chow, the chows but so this one is B32 oh I got two B32s oh darn well if anybody wants a B32 chow marker let me know because <laughs> I've got an extra okay so B32 B28 and B34 which it looks like I missed so I need to order one more it looks like I ordered one of the wrong ones so I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget B34 okay so this is blue 32 B32 B34 and B28 or is that 38 well if you look at my blog post you'll be able to tell I'm having a hard time telling okay so then after blue was purple and she recommends V1 V17 and V25 and I only have two of these because I have two of the same ones so I have an extra one of that Let's see okay so here's two of the three that she recommends V1 and V17 so I need to order the other one which is 15. I'm going to write that down too. Okay. And then after purple was brown, and she recommended E31, E57, and E59, which are these three. And this is just for brown. This is not for like hair color or skin color. That goes into another um, another collection. And then I have an extra um, that I picked up for skin. This E00 for skin white. And then for the grays, um, I'm not sure what she recommended for gray, but these are the three that I picked up because I like this, this combination. W1, W3, and W5. And then Oh no, they're just falling out. So that's my that's my entire Copic collection. And it looks like I'm missing two from hers. I have two extras and I'm missing two. So <laughs> if anybody wants to trade me, let me know. Um, I have V17 and B32 that you guys can um, I can trade for the two that I need or sell to you or whatever. So let me know. Um, so that's the Copic marker post and I will like I said I'll link to that post in the description below the other thing I wanted to show you was a couple of Christmas cards and remind you that I've got a whole bunch of Christmas um, embellishments like I've got these little holly leaves how cute are those um, they come in a pack of six and they're at cat scrappiness and right now there's a coupon that is YouTube 10 and it's at catscrappiness.com so if you put YouTube 10 in, you get 10% off. And I've got these holly leaves and some ornaments and little baby girl stockings. And I've got baby boy stockings, baby girl mittens, baby boy mittens, presents. There's just a ton of, um, a ton of Christmas embellishments that I have ready to go. And they're perfect for Christmas cards. I've been using them on all my Christmas cards and they've been coming out really cute. So let me show you that next. So some of these are not my favorites. These are cards that I made um, just the other day. A couple of them I like and a couple I'm not sure about. This one I'm not real sure about. I think it's cute, but it's just not my style. It's a country kind of style looking. Um, and what collection did I use? Let's see. Let me see what I used. Oh, okay. I used um, Seasons Greetings by Echo Park for this one. 
and I put in three eyelets up here and they were snowflake eyelets if you can see the snowflakes but they broke two of them broke see how this one's broken right there when I snapped it in so I just covered it up by sticking a little ribbon through it and tying a bow and this is a unity stamp and then I just um, used my border punch along the bottom and I didn't do the inside yet and this one I made I love this one um, I made this using the pack paper stack that um, Mary Beth sent me basic gray Eskimo kisses and it says friends are the true gift of the season and I just used pattern paper and tied a bow I use my bow easy to make this bow and if you don't have a bow easy and you can't tie bows I recommend that you get one this is what it looks like and once you figure it out there's a video online that I can show you to watch um, this is where you can order it from and that's the name of it and it it ties bows like that perfect and if you know me I can't tie a bow like that to save my life and I just put a little bit of something on the inside and I used this one um, is a thank you card for Mary Beth and um, this, I use the same collection and I used my Lawn Fawn um, the stamp set the critters in the forest and I colored this in with my Copic markers as you can tell I'm still learning and I used my snow marker to make snow and it didn't work real well I don't know what I did wrong and these are some eyelet or brads little Christmas tree brads um, this is a nestability this is a snowflake from cat scrappiness and this is a little porcupine or hedgehog or something and it just says thanks friend and that's the inside and this one I used the same collection and it was so pretty I didn't want to put anything on the front so I think I'm just gonna leave that blank and I put the sentiment on the inside and this is a hero art stamp uh, this sentiment right there so that one was simple but very pretty I love that paper this one is made using the same collection and the flowers that she sent me and this season's greetings is a dollar stamp and this little thing here label is a nestability um, and I use my border, my favorite border punch again. You can tell it's my favorite because I'm using it on everything right now. And that's the inside. And don't those flowers match perfectly? And these are snowflake brads. Um, they're little brads. You can't see them, but I put them. I put them on the top layer. <clears throat> and then um, Amy R did a card the other day, and um, I think I'm going to round the corners of this. She did a card. And it looked, it looked, I'm just going to do that one, um, kind of like her fingernails. Her fingernails were painted like this, and it gave her an idea to make a card like this. And I watched her video and tried to copy it, and this is the card that I came out with. So I stamped it in white, the little snowflakes in white, and then I stamped them in black, and then I stamped them again in white. And then I just tied some ribbon around it and put a stamped uh, sentiment on it, and that's the inside. And that's how it came out. So it's not as pretty as hers, but it was a good try. And my last card is a, another gingerbread man card. I used um, a 12 by 12. I made a layout, um, a gingerbread man layout the other day, a 12 by 12 layout, and I had some paper left over, so I just used it for a card. So I used this ribbon that I got from Scrapbook right here and this of course is a gingerbread man from cat scrappiness this paper is from the recollections paper pad i think it's called sugar plums or something and this we wish you a merry christmas stamp is an amy r stamp and then this is this is a stamp that i got at goodwill and i unmounted it and i'm just using it um i don't know what set it went with or whatever but it was really cute i like the font so that's my other christmas card <clears throat> and that's it for my cards so far. Um, I got the first batch and then this batch and um, that's it. I need to make some more today so I'm going to work on that. And these are my papers. Oh, and I got a couple of new Sizzix dies. I got this little banner die which is really cute. And I got this bow die so I can make bows which will be really cute. And then I got some Valentine dies, but I'm going to wait and show those to you later. 
because um, I'm trying to focus on Christmas right now. But as soon as Christmas is over, we'll be doing Valentine dies, um, die cuts and embellishments at Cat Scrubbiness. So again, um, I'll put the link to my blog post about the Copic markers below. I got the Copic markers at benfranklin.com. This is my blog. That's where you get the markers. This is Cat Scrappiness, and this is the coupon code. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <music>